Hermes is a humanoid platform that we've been trying to develop in order to deploy to disaster situation scenarios. So we want to be able to deploy a human, but once it's too dangerous to be to deploy a human itself, we want to be able to deploy something that could do work as a human would be able to. So the way I like to think about this project is that we're trying to put the human's brain inside the robot. So we want to take advantage of what humans can do and how humans can learn and adapt in order to face new situations and challenge that we may not predict. For humanoid robots, or legged robots in general, uh, keeping balance is critical uh, to being able to carry out any task. We've decided to tackle this head-on by feeding the balance sensations uh, of the robot back to the human as forces on his waist. Uh, that way we can take an advantage of the natural reflexes uh, and the learning capability of the human to be able to keep the robot balanced. So we try to give the human as much uh, freedom as possible. So the suit is a full body suit, so the, the human can move all the arms and both legs. And the idea is that the robot is going to follow exactly the same way. The human also has uh, handle controllers where it can push uh, a couple of buttons. And those buttons are responsible for controlling the hands of the robot. So if, uh, for grasping or releasing, so we control the force that which uh, the robot is uh, grasping its object uh, very firmly or very loosely or even to let it go. We also have a camera in the robot's head uh, where your head uh, would be and uh, that vision uh, that the robot sees is fed back to the operator in some vision goggles. When the human wants to do more delicate tasks, uh, things that really require vision uh, and strict positioning, uh, he can use the goggles and do a more uh, precise manipulation with his hands. So currently we have uh, the whole actions taken by the robot is commanded by the human. But we know that may, that may be not the ultimate solution for the, for the problem. So we want to uh, implement some intel intelligence on the robot. Uh, the human's still going to provide that uh, creativity, that problem solving, and uh, that large scale coordination of all the joints. But we've designed the robot to be stronger than a person. So we'd imagine that in the future, we want to merge uh, some level of autonomous control along with the human's intelligence.